Alright, I'm back here. I uh, had a couple of requests of trying to put this carburetor back together, so this is going to be part two. Uh, so took it back apart. had a couple issues I need to get worked out. Um, one of the first is the, the new gasket didn't have the notch in it that you see uh, here. I only had a hole, so when I first put it back on, I wasn't getting any gas into my engine. Couldn't get it fired up, and so that caused some issues, and I remember... When I ordered it, somebody made a comment that they had to do the same, so I took it back apart for that, and I figured while I had it off, I would go ahead and make a video of me putting this back together for those of you who requested that and want to see that. Uh, I didn't take it all the way back apart this time. I still left uh, the valve in there, and this assembly here is back in there, but that's how that goes. Um, do a little trouble to get those screws lined up just right, and then it's just slightly oblong here inside of here. Uh, took just a little bit of work moving everything back and forth to get those screws started back in, and that flat set back just right. Uh, that's part of the reason why I didn't go ahead and take them out this time. Um, this is where we're at here. Um, also, still have the idle mixture screw in. Kind of had it set from before, and I didn't want to disturb that. Most people turn them in to about one turn, one and a quarter turns. Um, this engine, you can back it out quite a bit, depending on how some of the other linkage is set. Um, to try to make it function like it was designed to on this particular 25 horse motor. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, maybe in this video at the end or in a separate video. So we're going to go ahead and get started putting this back together. I'm just putting all these in snug until I get them all into place before I wanted to tighten any of them down. I'm going to have to back this out so I get that screw out. On this one, that's an 8mm. It fits that. I must make it back where it is. Uh, set pretty close. I'm going to have to fine tune it once I get it back out there. Alright, we got that back. Uh, that got our needle our screw in there that holds this into place. Load in. I also forgot to mention, but if you pay attention, I took the other one apart. 
Uh, this actually separates for this plunger. Um, this little black cap here just goes on separately. And that, but that is spring loaded, so once you get it together, you kind of got to hold it together while you put your screws in. And this little vent hole or overflow hole uh, goes to the outside to expel anything. Put your bowl back on, but you may want to adjust your bowl. Uh, keep it somewhat fairly level all the way across. The other side we got the little ball uh, there's also the red wash that goes back in there um, kind of same way I took it out I used the old idle adjustment screw to push the old one out and I also used it to push the new one in carefully there's also a little paper gasket that goes over there the plunger that's pretty well it and then you have the gasket that goes between the motor and the carburetor um, like I said you have this is the original it gives you the whole slot there if you put the one that came in this kit on, you just have a hole and it doesn't work properly. Because when it's actually on the motor, this hole is covered up by the motor with the slot will actually let it come up and out the top. So there's that. I'm going to get it put back together and then later on I'll see if I can get it back to running and then maybe have to adjust some of these components here in the idle screw. And we'll go from there. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.